Well, hey there, it's me, Dulce. I love to learn and learn new and exciting things every day just like you. Today, we are going to learn about addition and subtraction. How does that sound? Roughtastic! Addition is the process of finding a total for a collection of items when they are all put together. You can add however many numbers you want, no matter how big or small, and always come up with a total or sum. It is also important to know the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. Subtraction is taking away an amount from a total. Let's go over an example of addition and subtraction so you can see what I mean. Starting with addition, let's say you have five fish in one tank and three fish in another. How many fish do you have total? Let's start with the five and add the three others. Six, seven, eight. Eight fish. Let's put them all in one tank. If we were to put this into an equation, it would look like five plus three equals eight. Now I can show you an example of subtraction. Let's say you want to put six fish back into the other tank. So we start with eight, and then we take away or subtract. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Two fish are left in the tank. An equation for this situation would look like eight minus six equals two. Let's try some new addition and subtraction problems. Let's say you have four red apples and nine green apples. How many apples do you have total? Let's turn this into an equation. You would get four plus nine equals a total or sum. Now let's add. Did you get a sum of 13 apples? You're a rock star! Let's break it down. Starting with four apples and adding nine more, you can count up from four nine times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 apples. Are you ready for a subtraction problem? All right, here we go. Let's say you had 12 cookies, but you ate five of them. How many cookies do you have left? Turning that into an equation, it would look something like 12 minus five equals a difference. Did you come up with a difference of seven cookies? That's amazing. You're absolutely correct. Now let's break this problem down so you can see how it all works. Starting with 12 cookies, you have eaten five. So let's take away from 12 five times. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven seven cookies. You're becoming a real math whiz. Adding and subtracting small numbers can be pretty simple with enough practice. Once you master the small numbers, you'll be ready for the big numbers, like 200 or 5,000. If you're ready for a more advanced addition and subtraction lesson, be sure to watch my next videos to learn how to add and subtract big numbers. I hope you had as much fun as I did learning about addition and subtraction. Be sure to like and subscribe for more lessons and adventures coming your way very soon. See you later.